Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I kind of wanted to pick a project that is ready to make. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is I think a lot of you guys are getting your Cricut uh, machines for the first time. And I remember being so overwhelmed and not knowing where to even start, which videos to look at, what to read, because there was so much information. And so I thought, oh, well, why don't I make one of these ready to make projects? And I realized I was so lost. I didn't know how to make the simplest adjustments to it. So I want to show you how to do that. This is for the super, super, super beginner. Okay. So let's say I thought this is cute. And this is probably something that you guys would make if you were new to the new to the game, this little card, this season greeting sticker. Okay. So let's click on it and customize. And I'm going to replace it with my project so that you can see what it looks like. Okay. So we have this little sticker, right? We have a sticker and we have a card. And honestly, before I really didn't even know what to do with it. So if you think about this card, this card folds up. So this is the front of the card, right? All these little lines right here are score lines. I think they're score lines. They are score lines. Um, okay, so let's just look at this. First of all, let's, oops, sorry, give me a second. Let's zoom out for just one second. Let's look at our dimensions, okay? So this card is 8.3 by 11.2. So it's as big as we can do because I'm assuming that you have 12 by 12 card stock, so we can't make this any bigger. I mean, I guess we can go up a little bit bigger. So let's just do that for fun okay so go into the height we're going to change it to 11.5 because that's as big as it can go but your folded area i'm gonna match up the dotted line with one of these just so that i can get a feel for how big this is so it starts here it's one inch oh no two inches two four five so this middle section is about oh you know what this is how we're gonna do it bring in a square We're going to unlock it because I can tell this is a rectangular shape. So I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to match it to this middle space. Oops, that's a little bit big. And I'm not, I'm only doing this just so that I know how big it is so that I can play with this sticker. So this guy is almost seven inches by five inches, right? I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. I'm changing the color just so that it's not so dark and blinding my eyes okay this is the little sticker that we're creating so let's go over here and see what we have it is going to draw the word um draw the word greetings and then it's going to draw and cut my vinyl so this the red pieces are vinyl so it's going to yeah it's going to cut my red vinyl and the word seasons is foil. So if you don't have foil, that's not gonna work, right? Um, interesting, no, they're both foil and then it's gonna cut the little white piece. Okay, so first of all, if we don't have foil, let's change that. We're gonna change it from foil to just cut. So if we cut, we can cut any well, actually, it's really thin, so we don't want to cut it. Let's draw it. We're going to have, it's going to draw our little pretty lines, and then it's also going to draw out the word seasons. So let's draw that. Okay. But you can change the colors, right? So we can click on these two items. Let's make that um, whatever color you have, right? Let's say you want it to be kind of this gold. And then the word seasons, you want to click on it here. Hold on. Um, maybe we want it in red. Okay. And maybe we want this sticker to be bigger. So we're going to grab the whole thing and make it bigger. We know that, here, select this and go to arrange, send to the back. So that's just our backmost layer. That way we can see what this looks like. So this is our card. It's going to go up here. So we can make it bigger, right? So we can put it here, arrange, send to the front. 
So this is what it would look like. Let's say you don't want the word seasons. Is it gonna let me? Okay, so it's not gonna let me change the words. If you don't want this word, let's say you wanna, or you wanna add something. So you would go to text, and if you wanna draw it in, first I would change it to, um, hold on. Let's say um, seasons greetings, and you wanna put, I'm gonna put the stormers. Okay, and I want this drawn, right? Or maybe I, you know what? I'm gonna make it an HTV. So it's gonna stick up, it's gonna be pretty. I'm gonna do it in gold. So I'm gonna change this to maybe this color. I know it won't be that color, but I need it to fit in here, right? So I'm going to make it smaller. Um, maybe change the font to something prettier. Um, what font do I want? Well, I know, okay. I'm just gonna pick a font that I have. So it's called city something. So I'm gonna type in city, I'm gonna select this because I kind of wanna show you, because I feel like it matches more of this. Okay, I'm gonna make this big again because this is like a super beginner tutorial, right? I'm gonna move it over so that you can see it. Oh, what happened here? Okay, here. So look at the spacing, it's horrible, right? And that's the problem with design space. Um, you can use other software to, um, for it to look better. So I'm gonna show you one right now. So I have, this is Font Lab Pad. It's free, Google it. Watch what it does, okay? So I'm gonna do the Stormers. See how it connects everything? So you could do it here and you can save it. File, save as, and you save it as an SVG file and you'll upload it. But let's say you don't wanna do it. What you need to do is you need to ungroup this. And I kinda of wanna make, because I'm cutting this out, I want it to all connect. So see, I made that connect to my S, there's nothing to connect the O to the T, but I can make the rest of this connect, right? So I'm gonna move it over. Maybe not connect those two, but connect the E, the R, and maybe the S, like, no good place for that, okay. And then I'm gonna grab these move it over because it should be closer, right? And then I'm gonna move the E over so it touches. I'm gonna move the T over so it touches the H. The reason why you want it to touch is you want it all to be one piece. It's so much easier that way, right? So I'm gonna grab these three letters and I'm gonna weld it because I want to connect it all. And I'm gonna show you the difference here, okay? So I'm gonna make this one. I'm gonna change the color so you can see it better. I'm gonna change it to a light blue. Um, oh, it's so hard to see, hold on. It's hard to see it with this font, but I'm gonna zoom in. You wanna weld it because, let me make it even bigger so you can see it. Um, okay, so, I'm gonna bring this S to the front. Oh, it's so hard to see this font. If you don't weld it, oh, let me see if I can, what color can I make it so you can see this better? Okay, I'm gonna bring this and arrange send to the front. So what would happen is my M would cut into the E, and then my E, purple E, would cut into the M. So it's not flowing. What you wanna do is you wanna grab all of this and weld it. When you weld it, it all flows as one piece. So you see how the M goes into the E? This was a hard font to see, but you wanna weld it so it looks 
like it's one piece and not each individual letter cut out. Okay, so now I need to make stormers smaller, right? The stormers. Make it match this. Um, oh, what's going on with my design space? Where's the rest of my stuff? Let me undo this for a second. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so here's this. I want this little hyphen to be closer, right? I want this all to be one color. So I'm gonna change it to, I don't know, change it to whatever vinyl color that you have. Okay, so I'm gonna make this smaller. And maybe, you know what, season greetings go on the front. This all folds, right? So maybe I'll have this on here. That way it can be big and I don't have to worry about it. So perfect. All right. If you want a card inside to write a note, let's bring this to the front. Arrange, send to the front. Make this card a lot smaller so that it fits in this folded thing you can write, you know, the Smiths, Merry Christmas, we love you, blah, 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 right? But you can have this cut, you can match it to this color, so you can go to Color Sync, and you can just move things around. I want this to be this color, there. Go back to Layers, and then let's go to the Make It screen so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is... It's gonna cut all the way around and it's gonna draw all this. You can see what it says here. This is cut. Um, if you want it to be in order, let's cancel out of it, which we do. So we're gonna grab, oops. Um, here, let me grab, hit the shift key and grab all of this and attach. When you attach it, it moves as one and it will cut in that order as well. So let's go to the make it screen so I can show you what that looks like. So now it's in order. So which is great because if you're gonna cut it out in vinyl, it's gonna cut like this, you're gonna weed it and it's already lined um, and straight and all that good stuff. Okay, this one it's gonna score here so it's gonna make it easy for you to fold it and then it's gonna cut all the way around, score and cut. This one is just cut. This is the insert that you can write your little note on, and then you're done. So I know that there's no way I could have done all these customizations when I first started, so I hope that was helpful. Let me know. I'm sure you still have questions. Um, if you have a special project that you wanna do, especially when you're first learning, I would love to customize that project and do that tutorial for you because you still need to follow along and recreate this on your design space so that you're learning how to use the system. So let me know how I can help you. Thank you for following and subscribing. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.